Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to my daily Arabic vocabularies. I am Mudaris Suleiman Ali. Happy listening. We are going to learn from this lesson how to change the Arabic verb zaro to suit some certain pronouns in Arabic. Fra'ilun madin past tense. Fra'ilun madin past participle. Fa'ilun madin. This is a form of verb in Arabic that one can use to talk about an incident that took place in the past. The question is, how do we change the verb zaro to suit the pronouns below? Zaro simply means he has visited. He in Arabic is huwa, which is the opposite of here, she. So how do we now change the verb zaro to suit the following pronouns? Wahid, number one, Anna, I. So how do we change the verb zaro to suit Anna? All you need to do is to attach ta'un, carrying dumma, to the last letter. Then you give sukun to the letter before it. So the verb zaro will now become zurtu. Zurtu, which means I have visited. Ithnan, number two, nahanu, we. So how do we change the verb zaro? To suit nahanu, all you need to do is to attach na to the last letter. Then you give sukun to the letter before it. So the verb zaro will now become zurna, zurna, which means we have visited. Falatha number three, anta you, representing a single male person. So how do we change the verb zaro to suit anta? All you need to do is to attach taun carrying fatha to the last letter. Then you give sukun to the letter before it. So the verb zaro will now become zurta, which means you have visited. Arba number four, anti, you, representing a single female person. So how do we change the verb zaro to suit anti? All you need to do is to attach taun, carrying kasra, to the last letter. Then you give sukun to the letter before it. So the verb zaro will now become zurti, which means you have visited. You can only use this to talk to a single female person. Hamsa number five, here, she. So how do we change the verb zaro to suit here? All you need to do is to attach taun, carrying sukun, to the last letter. The verb zaro will now become zarot. Zarot, which means she has visited. La alaka fahimt? I hope you understand. MashaAllah. Udurus, learn. Walahis, and observe at the same time. Udurus, study. Walahis, and observe at the same time. Mujabun, positive. Manfiyun, negative. Mujab, positive. This is the state of a sentence in Arabic that means something has happened. Manfiyun. This is the state of a sentence in Arabic that means nothing has happened. For instance, Wahid number one. Zaro. He has visited. Mazaro. He has not visited. Ithnan. Number two. Zarot. She has visited. Mazarot. She has not visited. Thalatha. Number three. Zurtu. I have visited. Mazurtu. I have not visited. Arba number four. Zurna. We have visited. Mazurna. We have not visited. Hamsa number five. Zurta. You have visited. Mazurta. You have not visited. Talking to a single male person. Sita number six. Zurti. You have visited. Talking to a single female person. Mazurti. You have not visited. Laalaka fahimt. I hope you understand. Masha Allah. Al istimal, now the usage. Wahid, number one. Halzaro Halidun Abu Jamin Kabul. Halzaro Halidun Abu Jamin Kabul. Halzaro Halid. Did Halid visit Abuja? Did Halid visit Abuja Min Kabul before? Halzaro Halidun Abu Jamin Kabul. Did Halid visit Abuja Min Kabul before? Now the answer. لا نو ما زار خالد أبو جمن قبل ما زار خالد أبو جمن قبل خالد did not visit Abuja before اثنان number two متى زارت زينب أبوجا متى زارت زينب أبوجا 
When did Zainab visit Abuja? متى زارت زينب أبوجا؟ When did Zainab visit أبوجا؟ Now the answer. زارت زينب أبوجا في شهر يناير. زارت زينب أبوجا في شهر يناير. زارت زينب أبوجا. زينب visited أبوجا في شهر يناير in January. Literally means in the month of January. No, شهر means month. زارت زينب أبوجا. Zainab visited Abuja في شهر يناير in the month of January في شهر يناير in January ثلاثة number three متى زرت كانو يا أخي متى زرت كانو يا أخي متى زرت كانو when did you visit كانو يا أخي my brother now the answer زرت كانو في شهر فبراير زرت كانو في شهر فبراير Zurtu kan not zurta zurtu kanu I visited kanu fi shar febrayar in the month of February zurtu kanu I visited kanu fi shar febrayar in the month of February la alaka fahimt I hope you understand masha Allah arba number four mata zurti zaria ya okti mata zurti zaria ya okti mata zurti zaria when did you visit Zaria? Ya Okti, my sister. Now the answer. Zurtu Zaria fi Shari Maris. Zurtu Zaria fi Shari Maris. Zurtu Zaria. I visited Zaria fi Shari Maris in the month of March. Lalaka Fahimt. Hamsa number five. Mata Zurtuma wilayata Kogi. Mata Zurtuma wilayata Kogi. Mata Zurtuma. When did you both visit? Wilayata Kogi. Kogi State. Now the answer. Zurina wilayata kogi fi shahari abril. Zurina wilayata kogi fi shahari abril. Zurina we visited wilayata kogi kogi state. Fi shahari abril in the month of April. Talking to Hashim and Halid. Sita number six. Mata zurtumul jazair ya ikhwa. متى زرتم الجزائر يا إخوة؟ متى زرتم الجزائر؟ When did you all visit Algeria? So الجزائر means Algeria, not Jordan. لا لك فهمت؟ I hope you understand. ما شاء الله. متى زرتم الجزائر يا إخوة؟ متى زرتم الجزائر؟ زرتم الجزائر. When did you all visit Algeria? يا إخوة, brothers. Now the answer. زرنا الجزائر في شهر مايو زرنا الجزائر في شهر مايو زرنا الجزائر we visited Algeria في شهر مايو in the month of March in the month of May عفوا زرنا الجزائر so we visited Algeria في شهر مايو in the month of May لا لك فهمت I hope you understand ما شاء الله سبعة نمبر سبعة متى زرتنا الجزائر يا أخوات متى زرتنا الجزائر يا أخوات؟ متى زرتنا الجزائر؟ When did you all visit Algeria? Talking to a group of female persons. يا أخوات sisters. متى زرتنا الجزائر؟ When did you all visit Algeria? يا أخوات sisters. Now the answer. زرنا الجزائر في شهر يونيو. زرنا الجزائر في شهر يونيو. زرنا الجزائر. We visited Algeria في شهر يونيو. In the month of June, زرنا الجزائر. We visited Algeria في شهر يونيو. 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 So in the month of June. لا ألاك فهمت؟ I hope you understand. ما شاء الله. سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك. أشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت. أستغفرك وأتوب إليك. مع السلامة وإلى اللقاء آخر.